Well, thank you everybody for being here today and participating. This is awesome. That is just something that y'all gotta know right now. I'm Bob Anderson and I do bite back. That's, a, that's what I do. I fight back. But because I'm the dental guy, the bite back comes into hand. And that's a very popular sign. So I'm Bob Anderson. I'm a lifelong Minnesota resident. I grew up in Richfield, Minnesota, which was a great community. 1975 Richfield Spartan, all right. I grew up, I went to a Catholic grade school in Richfield, public high school, so I was very fortunate that I was able to see both sides of the education system. I was blessed with great parents that took that initiative to send me to that Catholic grade school, and it was the best times of my education, so. I've also been blessed because my dad was in the service. When he was over in Pearl Harbor, he learned how to be a dental technician. He gained such valuable experience working on casualties, working chair side in dentistry. When he came home, he started a family business. It's Anderson Dental Studio, and we've been in business for 60 years. And I am very fortunate. Thank you, thank you. And 60 years is a long time, and the reason we've still been in business that long is customer service. Everybody should be able to make a good product in your industry, but how you set yourself apart is customer service, and that's the kind of senator I'll be for the great state of Minnesota. Great customer service for all Minnesotans. Thank you. You know, I'm new to the Republican Party. I came because Donald J. Trump. He was somebody that inspired me, but I'm not new to politics. I was a member of the Independence Party, and I am the only candidate of all the Senate candidates that have run in a federal election before. So I've got the experience because I ran in the 6th District I ran against Michelle Bachman, and if you're gonna run about against anybody that's gonna be a tough opponent, it was Michelle Bachman. So I can handle these other candidates, believe me. She is a prolific campaigner, and I appreciate. We were both conservatives, but I just wasn't ready to come to the party at the time. So in our industry, what we do is make things. I'm in manufacturing. I've been a dental ceramist for 42 years. I've probably made some crowns and bridges for people out in the audience. I hope so. And if they were happy with it, it's a good chance that maybe I did make it. <laughs> but you know, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect world. So, uh, you know, in a small business, you face all the issues that I know what's going on amongst all of us because I'm one of you. We're not only owners, but we're owner operators. I sit at the bench, I make things, and I know what it's like to produce a product. I think it's an opportunity for me to be an advocate for young kids in high school. They don't really know what they want to do, but they thought, oh, I don't want to go to college, I'm going to be strapped with a lot of money, but I wish I could do something else. There's nothing wrong with being in the trades. I've had a wonderful career. I've had a great time because I make things, and guess what? I can still be a U.S. Senator, so this is what it's about. I can attract common sense Democrats, independents, people like Donald J. Trump did, because we can't win this state with just Republicans. We have to attract other voters, and Donald J. Trump has blazed a trail for people like myself that come from the private sector, and we want to get involved and make a difference. So I am thrilled to have a president, and I want to go out there because we've had two obstructionist senators, and we can replace it with two pro-America first agenda, and we will change the balance of the country. This Al Franken seat is a gift. We've got to take advantage of it. And believe me, I know I'm the candidate in the general election that can pull this back for us because I can take the heat because they're going to come at us. The Democrats are going to be coming at us strong. I'm ready for it and I hope I can earn your endorsement because if I can get the endorsement, I can get on that ticket. I will help spread my energy, because I got a lot of it, but I want to help everything on the ticket. We got Attorney General, it's been 17, or 47 years since we've had a Republican Attorney General. We got a great one in Doug Wardlow, and I want people to get behind him. 
He's already got the endorsement. We got John Howe now in the, in the uh, Secretary of State. I like him. We got great candidates. And not only am I going to fight for the Tina Smith, I think it might be Richard Painter, actually. That would be huge. If I could get the endorsement and Richard Painter beats Tina Smith, could you imagine that? He left the Republican Party because of Donald J. Trump. I came to the party because of Donald J. Trump. I mean, that would be a match made in heaven, for God's sakes. The media would be all over it on a national. I don't know why we're not talking about Al Franken's seat. We go out, we're on a national thing on Twitter. People across the country think this is a big deal. Two Senate seats in one election period? Well, I'll help to set, you know, Jim Newberger and Rob Barnheiser, whoever gets that, I will be pumping that one up because Amy Klobuchar is going to be the tougher one. There's too many Republicans that are complacent with her. We got to bring her down. She's been an obstructionist ever since Donald Trump got in. We got to take two seats, not just one. So I'll be a fighter for all of us. In our industry, I deal with all the things that Congress and the Senate deal with. Regulations, health care premiums. I mean, I've had to purchase health care premiums for my family, for my employees, and believe me, it's been our biggest cost over the years. It kills companies. We need some more affordable options to compete. We don't have enough. I'm a big competition guy. The more options, the better. And we aren't seeing it yet, but we're going to, because I want to fight, because that's one of our biggest issues. Health care. We're all going to be consumers of health care. But if you don't have some type of insurance, it's so expensive. Everybody should at least have catastrophic so we're in the pool. Eliminates the pre-existing conditions. And then we can get some better plans, cheaper plans, and we have more options. So that's one of my big things, too. But I want to tell you here today, we have an opportunity of a lifetime. We can't let Minnesota slip anymore. We've had some real issues. And what we got to do is make sure we get this governor case right. I mean, that's going to be huge tomorrow. And I want everybody here to remember, we, got guys, we have people in the governor's race that have been running this whole time, fighting for this endorsement. So remember that tomorrow, that we got to come out of here united, not only with the senators, but with the governor candidate. We got great people. And they're here now. And they're here fighting for the endorsement. So I love the values of the Republican Party. I never came to the party before Donald Trump because I just didn't think we were delivering on the menu items that they serve. I don't like the Democrat platform. I grew up Democrat, but that was a completely different party. If we're smart, we're going to go out and reach out. If I'm a candidate that can bring in a lot of people that Donald J. Trump brought in because people are sick and tired of status quo. And we've got to change it. And the only way we're going to do it is with new, bold, exciting candidates. And I would love to be one for you guys because I've got it. And I'll spread it around for the whole ticket. We're going to have to be united. So I'm a dad. I've got two kids and I've got two granddaughters and I've got another one on the way. I want my family to have the same Minnesota that I grew up in because it's a beautiful state. But we're losing a lot of businesses out of here because of our taxes. We're losing, we've got this a lot of issues, the refugee resettlement that Philip Parrish has brought to light, and I appreciate him for that because it's been a silent issue and we've never had a say in it. So we've got some outstanding candidates that are running. We can't blow this opportunity. And now you've meeting Bob Anderson because a lot of people don't know about me. But when you see those Bob bites back, everybody will agree with one thing. You might not agree with Bob on all the issues, but he will fight back and he will bite back because <laughs> that's catching on and we love it. So I appreciate all of you being delegates and alternates because you're getting involved. I can't even get some of my own family to get involved. You know, everybody talks at the kitchen table and they complain about things. Until we get involved like this and make a difference, we're never going to change it. So we need to fire up, talk to our friends, bring in everybody we can, as long as they line up with our values and our issues. Why not? Because we're not going to take it with just Republicans. Donald J. Trump came closer to taking this state than we've ever done. Even Reagan didn't do as good as Donald J. Trump. So we got to remember that. You don't have to like him, but you should like what he's doing for our country because he believes in America First Agenda. I appreciate that. 
And you know, it's been a battle for me coming into the party, and I can understand it, because we've got a lot of people like yourself that have put a ton of time into the Republican Party, activists that are involved. And it's hard when an outsider comes in like me, and they think, wow, I don't know about this guy. But they're starting to warm up to me. And I'll tell you something that's special about me as far as politics. I didn't come into politics because I wanted to be a politician. I started fighting for an issue as a citizen advocate. 15 years ago, I went through a very life-changing event where I suffered major depression. I come from a family history of real major depression. I was fortunate because I had good health insurance. And when I got treatment, it changed my life. This was 15 years ago. I got involved at that time fighting for mental health parity. It was a bill that lagged in Congress for 12 years. And I thought, what the heck? Everybody says they're for it. Were you sure? I went, am I already out? Holy buckets. I am so sorry. I'm out of time. I could go on. Thank you, Jennifer. I apologize to everybody here. But you know Bob Anderson now. And I apologize for going over time. Thank you very much. And I really appreciate it. And so I want your support for endorsement. Thank you.